So in front of me, I have all of Canon's full-frame DSLR and mirrorless cameras, except the 1DX Mark II, because that camera costs about as much as all of these cameras combined. So I have the newest EOS RP and the 60 Mark II and the 5D Mark IV, and I have the EOS R filming this video right now. So I've been making a lot of videos about the RP, and I think we all settled that this is probably not meant for videographers, but then surprisingly, I've been getting a lot of questions and comments from people who are interested in buying this camera as their travel vlogging camera because they are not interested in filming themselves in 24P. They only film in uh, 1080p 30 FPS and 60 FPS. They don't need 4K or C-Log or anything like that. Just the fact that this is a full frame Canon mirrorless camera seem to appeal to a lot of people. And despite the small battery, it is about 200 grams lighter than the EOS R and about 220 grams lighter than the 60 Mark II. And I believe it's like almost half the weight of the 5D Mark IV. So we're gonna be doing some simple video comparison today. And as I'm going over the specs, I'll switch out the camera so you guys can see the difference. Right now I'm filming myself at 1080 at 30 frames per second with the EOS R because the RP does not have 24. And I'm guessing in terms of 1080p video quality, the EOS R is probably the best camera out of the four here. I don't think I've done a side-by-side -side comparison between this and the 60 Mark II, but when I'm watching the YouTube videos that I filmed with the 60 Mark II, and when I compare that to the ones that I filmed with the EOS R, there's a big difference. Okay, now I'm on the 60 Mark II. I'm on the same lens, same aperture, same ISO, same frame rate, and same white balance, same picture profile. The screen looks a little darker on this one, but that might just be the setting in the camera. So by this point, we're all probably familiar with the video specs of these cameras and except the 60 Mark II all these cameras can shoot 4k although I'm thinking the EOS R is probably the only camera with actual usable 4k because the 5D Mark IV's motion JPEG 4k files are unreasonably large I have famously huge turns and the EOS RP loses dual pixel autofocus in 4k and all three cameras have very big crops in 4k and when it comes to 1080 they all do a great job and there are slight differences in quality as you'll see so some might say that's because of the different compression rates or different formats, but I'm not a professional videographer or nor an editor, so all I'm interested in is the final results. And for things like YouTube, it doesn't matter all that much anyway. So next up is EOS RP. And now we are on the EOS RP, and the first thing that I notice is that we now have eye detection. Sorry, I don't have an external monitor, so this is how I have to record myself. But as you can see, it knows where my eye is. Huh, how great is that? In terms of autofocusing speed, I don't think you'll notice any difference with these four cameras. Right now I'm shooting with my 16-35 f4 and this is the lens that I normally use with for my YouTube videos. This is the Sigma 20mm f1.4 and I noticed that the tracking slows down just a little bit with this lens but not in any way that would interfere with my results. I just noticed once in a while when I'm looking back at something or looking down on my computer and then come back up to the camera and then the camera would take a little longer to focus back on my face. But with video you want that nice soft transition anyway and you don't want your camera to react too fast to things. And there are ways to set that up in your camera too and uh, for example if I bring this mug in front of my face the camera will focus on that instead of back here and if I move it back it'll focus on my face again but then when you're outside when you're filming something and someone passes by you you don't want the camera to be tracking that instead of your face so if you want your camera to stay on your face without losing you uh, you can set that up like that as well so that was the EOS RP and now let's move on to the 5D Mark IV Okay, so we are rolling on the 5D Mark IV and there's no way to see what's going on because it doesn't have a flip out touchscreen. I'm shooting at exactly the same settings with the same lens, so I'm just hoping everything's in focus. So I can kind of hear the lens, so I know it's tracking something. I'm guessing the video quality on this camera will be very similar to the EOS R. Apart from the difference in the 4K video format, they are very, very similar. Except on the 5D Mark IV, you do not get digital stabilization. And one more thing that's probably worth noting is that the EOS R comes straight out of the factory with C-Log. And the 5D Mark IV, when it was first launched, did not come with C-Log. Now you can actually order your 5D Mark IV with C-Log, or you can send it back to Canon to have them install C-Log for you for $100. So that's always an option for you. I haven't done that yet because I haven't been shooting a lot of video with my 5D Mark IV. Here's a low light test with all four cameras. And here I'm recording at ISO 25600. Based on what I can see here, I feel like the RP's video is very comparable to the ones from the R and the 5D Mark IV. And the 60 Mark II was the worst out of the four cameras, but not by much. 
For people who are thinking about buying the RP as a vlogging camera, one thing you have to remember is that if you're used to using smaller cameras like the M50 or the SL2, when you upgrade to RP, your EFS lenses won't work in 1080p anymore. So if you're buying this camera because it's a full frame camera, you're gonna have to start investing in some new full frame lenses, which are generally heavier and bigger than most EFS lenses. And you add the adapter to the equation, you're looking at a camera that is much bigger and heavier than you probably anticipated. It's not a deal breaker, people vlog with bigger cameras all the time but something to think about and if you're planning to use this camera for vlogging I'll say forget about the 4k as you can see there's a big difference in crop and here I'm filming at 16 millimeters with a gorilla pod attached to the camera and also the autofocus in 4k is pretty useless the squares on the camera screen still tracks my face but for some reason the focus never really keeps up with it but the quality is very good and there's always manual focus but for vlogging I wouldn't recommend it also in 4k you're stuck in 24 fps so they're not always going to mix too well with the 1080p file from this camera. The RP lacks internal stabilization like any other Canon cameras, but it has digital stabilization, which is pretty useless in most cases. It does help a little bit, but not much more than what the lens's optical stabilization already provides. There are two settings, normal and enhanced, and enhanced mode crops in quite heavily in the frame without adding that much stability, so the normal setting is probably the best. So that's pretty much it for me today, and I know this is not the most scientific review in the world, and one thing I constantly tell my viewers is that I'm not a professional videographer, but neither will be the users of the EOS RP. So I just tried to make this easy and simple as possible. And if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments and I will do my best to get to them all. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.